First rounds in the history book. We've got second round playoff action underway. Orlando opens its series actually against the Atlanta Hawks tonight. Just 48 hours, by the way, after the Hawks knocked off the Bucks. Now, for more on the biggest business winners and losers in the NBA playoffs thus far, let's bring in Rick Horo. He's Bloomberg contributing editor and author of Beyond the Box Score. Hey, Rick. Hey, how you doing? Good. So let's start out with some winners here. You know, we've got eight teams left. Who is going to add uh, the most to the bottom line? Personally, I'm going to take Oklahoma City here. Tiny media market, but only two years into the franchise history. They almost crashed the Lakers' first round hopes, right? And galvanized a fan base where you've got some pretty strong allegiances to Oklahoma State and OU comp competing for attention there. What about you? Who do you take here? Almost, 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 Michelle. They're two games away from winning, maybe next year, clearly. No Oklahoma City very well. It's a great choice, but the Lakers and Boston are left. They're number two and seven in media, respectively. How about Orlando? They're number 17 media market, but win or lose in this series, they open a new arena in four short months. They are the winners regardless of what happens on the court. All right, so you're taking the Lakers here. Now, what about some of the business uh, losers here in the second round? Twelve of the thirty, uh, twelve of the thirty teams in the league lost money, according to Forbes, uh, in the last season available. Uh, the Mavs actually bringing in the second biggest loss in the league, losing seventeen million dollars last year. Orlando also lost a couple million dollars last year. Who do you see as the biggest loser, a business loser in the playoffs thus far? Well, how about this one? Let's redefine it a little bit. Cleveland may be a business loser because, remember, their value is over $400 million, bucks, but they're so totally dependent on an elbow. That's LeBron James's elbow. If he's injured, they're bounced out. Who knows what's going to happen, plus free agency during the summer. And how about New Jersey and New Orleans? They didn't make the playoffs, but they're going through ownership changes. And when you realize seven of the eight teams left are ranked in the top 15 in franchise values, there are a lot of losers that didn't make it, but money is very very important to the ones that did. Right, a lot of correlation there between having a strong front office and good management and some success on the court, at least as far as the playoffs is concerned. Rick, thank you so much for joining us. Rick Horo, author of Beyond the Box Score and a Bloomberg contributing editor. At